Hello, welcome to Monday Moments, where we get to encourage one another early in the week to help to make it through the week successfully. I'm Rose Colvin, and I'm so glad to have this opportunity to share with you today. As we get this week started, we want to think about how we can honor God through the week. There are so many ways, but one of the things that we can do is to bring glory to God, is to consider our conduct. It seems that so many of us are easily swept into the ways of the world. We get caught up and become followers instead of leaders. We get lost in darkness when we should be the light. So as we go into this week, we should ask ourselves, how do we wanna to try to conduct ourselves? And let me say, we are just focusing on this week, one day at a time. This is not meant to be an overwhelming discussion, but just a moment to refocus ourselves. And let us look to the scripture for direction on how, um, how we should conduct ourselves. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 13 through 16, which uh, 1 Peter, which was a letter to Jewish and Gentile believers of Christ, it says in the contemporary English version, verse 13, be alert and think straight. Put all your hope in how God will treat you with undeserved grace when Jesus Christ appears. Behave like obedient children. Don't let your lives be controlled by your desires as they used to be. Always live as God's holy people should, because God is the one who chose you, and he is holy. And that's why the scripture says, I am holy. I am the holy God, and you must be holy too. So this verse is telling us things about what is expected of us. Number one, to be sober in spirit. That is to be steadfast, to be self-disciplined, spiritually moral and alert. Number two, it says to fix our hope on the grace of God coming to us when Jesus is revealed, meaning that our frivolous, our short-ended hopes should be adjusted to be based on us hoping for the real long-term goal, and that is to be with Jesus when he comes back. And number three is to live as obedient children. It tells us not to go back to the evil desires which controlled you before Christ, but to live in obedience. The obedience here is what is found in his word and from the leading of the Holy Spirit, and not to be caught up in man-made rules, things that we learned in um, old church rules about our conduct, but instead to what God has instructed us to do. And then number four, the last one, to be holy in our conduct. We are called to be holy because God is holy. And I know this sounds hard to be holy, but as believers, we've already been justified, which means that we've been declared righteous in God's eyes. And we are in the process of sanctification and to be sanctified is to be made holy. It is an ongoing process with the work of the Holy Spirit and with our desire to honor God and with our obedience. And in that, we will be sanctified. So the scripture is very straightforward and, and it's simple. And it's reminding us of how we are expected to live. It is for us to be able to honor God. And it's for us to please God. It's for our relationship with God. It may benefit others, but that is not our responsibility. Also, our job is not to enforce this on other people. We cannot and should not try to control other people and their behavior. Our responsibility is to be, obey God ourselves. I'll say that again. Our responsibility is to obey God for ourselves. We don't do it to try to impress other people. We don't do it to try to make ourselves look good. And it's not supposed to be a fake presentation to make uh, Christians look like we're superior beings. It's not for a show but for our own personal spiritual growth, for a healthier relationship with God, our Father. So that's the message for the day. Just a reminder of what the goal is this year. The goal is for this month, the goal for this week, for this day, for this very moment. And that is to be the best Christian that we can be. And we do that by remembering how we should conduct ourselves. We gauge our conduct based on what we find in scripture and where the Holy Spirit leads us, and then to respond to that with obedience, out of love for God. He said that if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And so I hope this message 
was encouraging because that is the goal to uplift and um, to build up one another, build each other up. It's not to condemn you or to make you feel torn down. This is for us, for all of us, myself included. It's for all of us to continue to grow. So God bless you. Have a great week. Remember that you are loved. And this was Monday Moments with God.